<clears throat> Yo, what's up, guys? How are y'all doing? So, yeah. Um, today, I am making a video on how to export meshes from uh, binary file formats, like just from Skate 3, I guess. And I mean, it's going to work for a lot of <laughs> Xbox games, because a lot of them, mostly, I guess, all the EA games use a very similar file format for meshes, but a lot of Xbox meshes use a similar format. So, so this will work for a lot of stuff, but this is for uh, Skate 1, 2, and 3. And the way you export models on those games is like this. You need the game. You need to unpack the game and its big files with quick BMS so that you have the raw files. Then you go into data, content, and in this case I am gonna uh, export, I want a model, what do I want? Wait, let's get Big Black and his hat. And because I already have experience with this one, it's easier to show you. Okay. So, first off, find the files. Here you go. This is the file you're going to need the biggest, the largest um, file size here. And you're going to copy that. And then in your model researcher, folder that I will have a link to, um, you're going to create a folder here. You're going to call it hat or something, big black hat or hat. Then you copy the file, you call it hat. And then you go into model researcher, you open file, you find a hat, and you open it up. <coughs> so. And you're going to be right here in mesh. So what you want to do is, first off, the byte order is going to be Big Endian. That's important. Very important. Doesn't work otherwise. It has to be Big Endian. Uh, and then you go into hex view. And here you can see what the file looks like. So you're going to go down. And you're going to see it's going to say name, hat, and then... Blah blah blah. Uh, attribute later, material name, character, default cloth. There's going to be a lot of stuff and a little bit of data there. But then you're going to get to this right here. It's going to say hat mesh. Right? And then undefined. And then down here. And then there's going to be a little data. And then right here, it's going to say neck. Um, uh, necklace head uh, I don't know what that is that's probably I don't know these could be bone names they could be anything but at least all of this right from here is a header a long ass header and then you're gonna see a file that usually starts uh, it usually starts right here like, it usually doesn't start <laughs> right there, or right there, or there. It usually starts on the uh, C um, byte, so, or C offset. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So you're going to see a big-ass header towards the top of the file, right? Sometimes a little bit more towards the middle of stuff because there's usually some more data up here, but not in this case. So what you want to do is you want to find this right here. That's the start of the vertices. You're going to copy that right here. You have the offset. Copy it. And then paste as decimal. And then make sure this is on short sign. Okay. Okay. And then padding has to be 22 because that's the padding they use okay for this format so what you do now is you want to find the end of this file and you do that by scrolling 
just scroll through and look at the file here, look at the data, and look at where it changes. You see it's a very clear pattern that this is, you know, the same. Okay, here you go. Where does it stop? Where does it change? Here you see FF, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 uh, 1. You see here there's a change in what the file looks like, okay? And so what we want to do now is we want to know, first off, where does the faces start? If you look at where, the, where it sort of changes and where you start seeing all this, you know, all the numbers and the alphabet and all that, if you go up all the way to where the vertices stop, right here, you're usually going to see FF, not always. And, oh, give me a sec. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to see 0, 1. It's always, usually always going to start with 0, 1 somewhere after this stops. When you do that, you'll see 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? Before that, you'll see 0, 0, 0, 0. So just look at the file, it's going to say 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2. Right here on 0, 0, 0, 0 is where it always starts, okay? Remember that. If we look at another file, it's also going to stop, the, ver the vertices are going to stop, then there is sometimes going to be FF, but then as soon as you see the first 0, 1, you go back 1, 2, 3. And that is where you want to start on faces. So what you do is just you just highlight that, you copy, paste as decimal. Now you have that. Now don't bother with that anymore. Just stay here. And then on count, you want to just put a number, a thousand. You see? It, it goes past that point. It goes past that point can't do that so try 900 it also goes past that point try uh, 800 700 oh sorry 400 okay 400 is even better see so 400 then we start going one at a time one at a time one at a time until boom it's it's overriding these it's going past the point of this. Then we go back once. Okay? And if you look at these values, they have sort of a pattern to them. 00, zero FF. Uh, FF, zero, 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 FF, FF, FF. You see, they, they're all, uh, it's all a pattern here. So now that we know that this is where it stops, the vertices. We know where they started, and we know where they stop. Okay. Now, we know where the faces start, because we know it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right here, we know where they start. And we know where they stop, because they're going to stop all the way at the bottom, all the way down here. So what you do is you do 500. You do 1,000. You do 2,000. Okay. 1,200. 1,400, 1,500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Okay, you see? Good. What we want to do now is, by, uh, by the way, this has to be short. So these formats are important. Type, short, sign. This type is short. And format is tri-strip or tri-strip FF whatever you like here. And then we are just going to click on this now until we get to the very end, okay? Make sure this is big Indian, make sure this is tri strip or tri strip FF. No padding. Make sure that is all the way to the end and we have the beginning. Same with these here. This has to be short sign. No padding here, but padding here. 22, always 22. Format is XYZ. 
we have the count because we know where it stopped and we have the start if we go to 3d view and we click render boom we have the hat right here we have the hat it looks sort of funky because we don't have the correct normals for it uh, but this is the free version and sadly it doesn't have the normals you can sort of auto generate them after it looks a bit funky if you do that uh, there are different ways of generating them you can get there are ways to get really good normals so don't don't think about it uh, but yeah now we want the UVs and this is basically the easiest thing all you do is you take the offset for the vertices right you copy that this time you don't paste as decimal because we already had this is already decimal now just paste it make sure it's short sign always short on skate 3 make sure it's UV and not VU make sure the padding is 24 now you want to go to hex view you want to make sure all these vertices faces and UVs is ticked right you want to make sure all of them work what you do now is you, for count you add a hundred and if you can't see anything it is because these are going to be inside of these now so you want to move them forward so what you do is you add four now you can see them you want to add another four so you want to add so you want it to be 72 okay when it looks like this, when you see the vertice here, and then there is two in between, and then the UV starts. When it looks like this, right here, and it's an even pattern throughout, that's how you know it is correct. Okay? So now you want to get the full count. And the way you do that is you just go here to mesh and vertices and it's the same count that easy okay it's almost the same it's basically what is it it is that offset plus eight right that off offset plus eight and the same count and if you go all the way down you'll see what it looks like not all the way but here you go it's gonna stop right there and then there's gonna be the end of the file and that's where the faces start so now we have all the data we need now we're gonna click render and view UVs go to texture and you're gonna see here very clearly the UVs okay now what we need to do is we need to get the texture for this and how we do that is with Noesis and we want the I already have the texture here this is for the hat and the hat is oh it's down here somewhere I'm not 100% there it is the hat's right there so you want to go into Noesis you want to go into marquee as we as we that's where we find the found the model right here right but we want to go to texture instead there's going to be a big ass folder what you want to do is you want to find this go through export all of these or do whatever you want and find this uh, big black hat texture then you export that then you minimize it and you load that texture load texture right I already have that texture it's right in here okay so we're gonna go to hat we're gonna copy it and we're gonna rename it hats okay so for you um, it is gonna be slightly different here I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do something real quick um, okay I'm gonna do something real quick so the file here the Taga file if I open it it is upside down and flipped but for you it's not gonna be like that if you export it with Noesis for you it is gonna be like this right and that uh, that is gonna load in so if I save it like this now this is this is what it's gonna be for you 
So when you open it up, load texture, and you load it, and you hit draw texture, view UVs, it's going to look perfect, right? And 3D view, it is going to look perfect. But it does not look perfect in Blender or any other 3D tool because it's going to be flipped. It's going to look like this. Doesn't look good. So what you need to do is um, you need to basically save this as an OBJ, right? Hit save. Now we have all the data in here. And then you want to go in here and you want to flip horizontal. And then you also want to rotate 180. Save it. Hit OK. Close this. And then now you can open this up. Um, I'm just going to select all. There is nothing in the scene. OK. So now when you import this in right here, oh, sorry, there is. Give me a sec. OK. So when you import this now, it is going to be, it's going to look like this, right? And then when you, uh, yeah, you see the textures look perfect now. And that is because we flipped and mirrored the texture. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it. It does get some really fucked up faces that make no sense. Every single texture almost, or every single model, I mean. So you're going to have to clean that up. That's pretty simple. You just go in here. Sorry. You have to select it. Go into Edit. Go into Faces mode. And then just delete face, delete face, delete face. Just sort of delete all these dumb faces that don't make any sense that just look be bad and then yeah then you have a clean hat boom so yeah I mean extracting stuff from skate 3 is all the character stuff now at least is figured out I will see what I can do with the maps and all that in the future and uh, yeah until then this is what we have and it's <laughs> it's insane um, I'm going to see if I can rig some of these things up and play it on Session and in uh, Skater XL. And, uh, yeah. There is a bright future ahead, I can tell. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you for watching. And if you don't understand something, just rewatch the video. And if that you still don't understand, leave a comment and I will get back to you when I can. Okay. Peace out.